Hello, my name is Sinead McParland. I'm a dietitian and nutritional advisor for the Aiken Group. So today I want to talk to you about what is a balanced diet. As a dietitian, we base all our advice around a balanced diet and using the Eat Well Guide as our tool. So the Eat Well Guide helps us to get a balance of more sustainable foods and it shows how much of what you eat overall should come from each of the food groups. If you're interested in seeing what the Eat Well Guide looks like, if you put it into any of your search engines on the internet, you should be able to see this. And then you can have a look at what it, what it is and what food groups are in the Eat Well Guide. But what I'm going to do today is just um, discuss briefly each of these food groups and identify how much you should be taking and what sort of foods are in each of these groups. So after you've had your surgery, what we're aiming for is for you to get back to a balanced diet. So our first food group um, we'll talk about is our starchy foods. So these are our main source of energy, our vitamins and our fiber. And this should be our biggest food group. This, this is one that we should have every day. Um, foods in this group include things like your breads, your pasta, your rice, your noodles, your potatoes, sweet potatoes, things like your maize, your millets, your corns, your breakfast cereals and your oats. And again, stressing that you should be taking food from, from this food group every day. Um, our next food group uh, to talk about would be your protein foods. So these foods provide us with um, our protein, which is the building blocks of our body. Um, it also provides our, our vitamins and our minerals, and it is a high source, source of iron. Um, we should be aiming to take two of these, two portions of these foods each day. And this includes our meats, our beef, our pork, our liver, kidney, lambs, our poultry, our chicken, turkey, and um, things like your fish and your eggs, your beans, your baked beans, your peas, your lentils, um, even your meat alternatives such as your corn and your tofu are included in this group. Our next food group um, to discuss is the dairy produce. So our dairy products are, uh, are the main source, or you are a good source of calcium, which is important for healthy bones. And we're aiming to try to take a half to one pint of milk per day, or it's equivalent in cheese and yogurt. So one cup of milk contains the same amount of calcium as one small carton of yogurt, or a 30 gram piece of cheese. Um, and choosing even if you have to the lower fat um, options when, whenever you can. Um, the next food group is your fruit and vegetables. Um, these are your, your source of fiber and a full range of your, vit, your, your vitamins and minerals, um, which are essential for good health. So choosing minimum of five portions of fruit and veg a day. Um, a portion would be the same as a tablespoon of vegetables or a small salad. Um, a, a piece of fruit such as your an apple or banana, two tablespoons of your stewed fruit or a small glass of fruit juice. So you can have these fruits, um, you can have them peeled or unpeeled, tin fruits in, 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 in their own natural juice. Um, as I said, your stewed or your baked or pureed fruits, fruit juices, um, preferably unsweetened ones, um, and also your vegetables, even if they're in a soup, if they're pureed in a soup or a casserole. So the next food group to discuss would be your fats and your oils. And yes, these are a good source of energy, but we want to ensure that we 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 take our fats and oils, or oils sparingly in our diet because um, too much fat is obviously not very good, not very healthy. So things like your butter and your margarine, your low fat spreads, your cooking oils, your mayonnaise and your salad dressings would fall into this group. The next food group to discuss would be your fats and your sugars. It is important to have a very diet and it, it's important to enjoy your food as well. So having these sorts of 
these foods in smaller portions or smaller amounts, watching the fats and the sugar. So things like your cakes and your biscuits, your chocolates, your sweets, your puddings, ice creams, crisps, um, even sweetened drinks and, and sugar all fall into this group. But as I said, it is important that you enjoy your food. So choosing a very diet, choosing foods from each of your food groups. However, if you feel that you are not meeting any of these food groups or you're not tolerating any of the foods in these food groups, it is important that you speak to your dietitian or your stomach nurse or your GP if you have any concerns. But this is what we want to base our balanced diet on. And this is where we want to be uh, as, as you start to recover after your surgery. Okay, thank you.